interesting shot based on what he said. Yes. I think it's the lawyer. Also, <laughs> I, I, I think it was it was a good thing. Yeah. Uh, that the president started by acknowledging the wrongs that have been done to the populace, mm. and the president going ahead to even say the families will be compensated. Mm. I want to go further and say the phone call that President Ruto used or took the phone line that he used the last time he was speaking to Kenyans, mm. asking them, Kamambolea imefika, take the phone call, Mr. President, take that phone handset and call the parents of the 50 plus individuals who lost their lives. Talk to them, console them, apologize to them as a president, mm. call them to State House, Mkunwe Chai, then compensate them. Well, uh, and Zao, before you do your parting shot, I'll uh, throw something to you. The president was very busy that time, and you, you remember the song he used for his campaign? Sipanguingui. Mm. And all of a sudden, <laughs> Anguka Nai. Use those two words. <laughs> no, no, clearly, I'm a Pangwana Gen Z's. <laughs> I'm a Pangwana Gen Z's. Yes. He made, uh, you haven't played the clip where he said he will not allow, you know, opposition into government. Yes. But he has now allowed them, in broad daylight, he has mm. now incorporated the things he kept complaining. Mm. So... The, the realities of power are slightly different from when you are on the podium and you are you want to excite the people. Mm. Things really on the ground, in a summer view to ground is different. Mm. So that is very, very clear now to us uh, and to all of us from seeing what the president has done in the last few days. Mm. But now to my parting shot, I agree with everything uh, Tanui has said and also Ken. I think it's a moment for the country. This Katiba, the Katiba which is here, um, uh, sit uh, next to Ken. Mm. <laughs> this document, the problem we have is that we passed a document in 2010. The president, he, he can get away with it and say he never voted for it. But like Tanui said, he's already the president. But, you know, we got a document and we continued like business as usual. And yet, there are certain values required of us to change our s in the manner we conduct ourselves. Mm. Uh, today, we are the media demos. You know, media trying to reassert its place in a democratic society. Mm. And that should never be a fight. It is a given in a democracy that media plays a very significant role. Mm. But we have seen in the last two years since uh, the President Ruto came to power, through the st appointed st state officers like the ones we have mentioned here, claw back on media freedom in a manner that is like insulting this uh, you, you know, it's like tearing this constitution, or using it as a toilet paper. Uh, remember, Gado once uh, drew a very famous cartoon where he drew some people, high state officers, just using this constitution as a toilet paper. Mm. And that's what has happened. The media plays a very, very key role in a democracy. And it should be respected, should be given its space. And we saw state officers um, working day and night to claw back, and not just claw back, but to frustrate and to basically undermine media freedom. I think the biggest lesson the people have been appointed today and last week, and once they are vetted, the high state officers, is to learn and to know the place where the media is so important in the things they are going to be doing, including the president, in supporting the president. You recall that um, I think someone once told the cabinet minister that uh, I'll be here to write your obituary. Many, I tell my friends who are in power, that they they should never forget that the journalists they see you, you meant political obituary yeah political obituary yeah, uh, yeah exactly so, so thank you for that but the journalists they see the media the for the state will not, it's unnested it will always be there you know it's like you know it's like in civil service in government there are guys who are in civil service at Arambia house mm. who will have always been there they will always be there until they leave the scene. And they they control a lot of things on what is happening in Arambia House. Mm -hmm. So the media is a nested and as, as, as the one which checkmates these other institutions yeah. is very, very, very key. And if you are appointed as a state officer, you should mind what you say, what you do, how you facilitate journalists or media to conduct its work. It's very, very important. Otherwise, those guys will be there mm 